Where do you get 480 horsepower, V8 engine, dual throttle bodies in a convertible? I mean, look at this. I mean, come on, man. Hey guys, it's Jim from Middleton Motorsports. Hey, welcome to our channel, welcome back. Hey, we're really excited today to bring you our brand new Mustang GT convertible S650. We just got this car in a couple days ago. We're clearly trying to get some miles on this car. As you've seen on the ch channel, we, are, we have installed a dyno and we're looking to get this car up on the dyno. Actually, that video might come out. Hopefully, we get enough miles on the car. That video might come out before this one, but um, we are excited to bring you this car. It is um, a, a, obviously a white convertible. Base price here is 51,500. It has really three options. It's got the 401A package, which brings you some premium interior bits, navigation, um, lane assist, um, you know, blind spot warning, all that kind of safety equipment. And then it's got two options. It's got the Brembo brakes, which I think is a real cool option, especially with the red calipers offsetting the white, you know, color. And also it comes with the automatic transmission. So we have the 10 speed automatic transition transmission in this car. You've seen a, probably a ton of videos already on this with the press cards and other YouTube influencers talking about the car. You haven't seen many convertibles. Um, I was, we're excited to have this convertible and it is available at Middleton Ford. Um, you know, from a, from a look standpoint, uh, and we'll get into driving impressions in a, in a little bit, but from a look standpoint, look, it's an evolution. It's not a complete, you know, redesign clearly, um, but I, I like what they've done. I like how they've smoothed out some of the lines. They've modernized the car a bit. Um, I think the front fascia is, is actually one of the, the highlights of the car. It remains very aggressive as the, the Mustang, in my opinion, S550 had a very aggressive front. I like how they split the grill um, and kind of broke it up with some of the color differentiation. To me, there is a little bit of an RTR influence on this front end. I'm not sure if they had a piece of this, but you know, clearly these air um, intake, um, I, I don't know for sure, but the air intake um, nostrils, if you want to call it that, for the dual throttle body 5.0 engine that's underneath the hood here, putting out 480 horsepower. It's got this nice um, vent here for heat extraction and downforce, but the front, with the, with the headlights, the LED headlights, and the front facial, I think is, you know, really a highlight of this car. When you, you know, swing around the side and, you know, you look at the, the lines, it's got that classic Mustang um, look, that American muscle. Um, some will say and have said that it's got a little bit of the Camaro kind of lines to it. You know, I think when you see it in person, I get that a little bit on the rear end, but look, I mean, why fix what's not broken? Um, this S, this Mustang platform, the S550, the S650 platform is so successful for Ford. Um, why break what's not broken? And the fact that Ford continues to provide us, the consumer, a uh, naturally aspirated V8 engine available in a six speed um, or automatic. I mean, hey, hats off. and and. I, I give them a ton of credit for that. As you think about who the competitors are for this car, um, it might be, uh, I don't know if it's the Toyota Supra, if it's the Nissan Z, but you know, from an American standpoint, there aren't many muscle cars around. I don't know what's going on with the Challenger or the Charger or the Camaro, if it's even gonna be available, but the fact that Ford continues to deliver a naturally aspirated V8 over 480 horsepower here, 500 horsepower in the dark horse, which hopefully will be coming to the channel soon. Um, I think that's fantastic. Look, um, when you swing around to the rear of the car, I love what they did here. This is my first time seeing the S650 in person. And you know, you see this highlighted on a lot of videos, the angle here in the rear, I, I think it's, all, it's fantastic. I, I love what they did here. It makes the rear a bit more modern, a bit more aggressive. Um, you know, it just kind of follows the lines right off the back of the car from an arrow standpoint. Um, 
Dual exhaust, this is again the 5.0, 5 liter, 480 horsepower engine. I think the convertible lines in the Mustang have always, it's always been one of the, I think, best looking convertibles available. Um, it is a soft top. We'll show you how that works here in a minute. Um, but it is a soft top, but it tucks away very nicely. The lines are very, very clean. And the S650, uh, the quality of the leather, the quality of the seats, the feel of the steering wheel, um, all of that is just top notch. And I think they've raised the bar significantly from, from where they were on the, on the S, S550. So we're here in the interior, I think is one of the highlights of, um, of the new S650 platform. Uh, you know, this is a premium car, um, again, base price, $51,500. Um, after all the options, it's topping out around $59,300 plus destination and delivery um, on, the, on the window sticker. But the interior is absolutely fantastic. They've done a really nice job. The quality of the leather, the quality of the seats. These are not the Recaro seats, but they're air conditioned and warmed. Um, you know, it's got this it's kind of like a, you know, it's not carbon fiber, clearly. It's got a nice little look to it and texture to it. Runs across the dashboard. Um, the quality of the material on, on the interior on the dash is, is also, I think, really top notch. This has the full screen, although they're two separate screens within, um, you know, this full, but it's one piece. So optically, I mean, from, from a driver's position, you know, everything is right there for you. Steering wheel has all the classic Mustang uh, ba uh, buttons, the performance buttons, the steering buttons, the cruise, the adaptive cruise, sound, control, everything. And the feel of the steering wheel is, is really, really nice. Um, it's thick enough, but not too thick. It's got the square bottom to help for um, getting in and out of the car. Gives you a real nice performance feel. Um, and you'll see when we're driving it around on the roads, I think what they've done to the steering is, is fantastic um, and very, very responsive. A bit light, but very responsive. It's got the 10 speed automatic with the paddle shift. So as you put it into manual here, the paddle shift is very, very responsive. It's not dual clutch quick, but clearly, you know, Ford has been able to really make great improvements with this 10 speed and the responsiveness of the um, up, up shifts and down shifts is, is really, really impressive. Um, you got memory seating, uh, you know, automatic lights, everything that you would expect in a car, I think, at this price point. This has the B&O sound system. Sounds fantastic. Um, again, for $59,000, that's not a little amount of money. Um, clearly, I don't want to underestimate that, but I think you get a lot of car, a lot of interior for that price. And one of the quirks of this car that I'll tell you, you know, this is my first time with it it talks to you all the time. So when you get out, you shut the car off, there are things beeping and reminding you. I don't know how to turn all that off, but man, it seems like it's talking to you constantly about you know what's left on or what needs to be turned off or whatever it might be. But um, I just think that they've done a really nice job with this cockpit. Uh, this comes with, again, the Brembo brake kit, which I think is a nice kit. The brakes are huge. They're very capable. The aluminum, uh, wheels, the, the, the color of the aluminum wheels with the white, uh, I think it's, it, it also looks great and tied in really nice on this car. Love the 5.0 badge. Hey, if you got it, why not flaunt it? And I think that's the way to do it. Um, but yeah, really excited about getting this out on the road, sharing my impressions of how it drives, putting some miles on it so we can get it on the dyno, and uh, we'll go from there. So we're here in the 2024 S650 GT Premium, not performance, 5.0, 480 horsepower. I have it in manual, it's a 10 speed automatic, but I have it in manual, so I'm using the paddles. You know, my, my initial reaction, and I've, I've seen this 10 speed before, um, I, I do believe the paddle responsiveness is good. Um, it's, it's clearly not a, a dual clutch, you know, um, transmission by any means. But, you know, for sure, it's a, um, it's got some good responsiveness. Uh, you know, look, I have it in track right now. 
so it's got a cool dash view and look to it, obviously highlighting the, the RPMs and the engine rev. This 480 horsepower, you know, 5.0 with the dual throttle body now, I will tell you, does feel much more responsive than, you know, the, the traditional 5.0 and the S550 platform. It's got some nice giddy up to it. We're on um, my favorite road here, close to Middleton, Wisconsin, Highway 19. It's got some, some, some bit of hills and a lot of turns. It's hard to find turns here in, in Wisconsin. Um, but uh, I'll tell you that the steering feel feels really good. The car feels really tight. Um, it's a bit light. I think you've heard that before. I have it in sports steering. So there's, you know, eco, there's comfort, there's normal, there's comfort, and then there's sport. The sport does tighten it up a bit. So, but very darty, I mean, very, not darty, but very responsive. Um, again, this doesn't have the performance pack one or two to it. So, you know, the wheels are not the 305s, if you will, or the 315s, but it does turn nice. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, convertible, I mean, for 59000 I know I've said it before, I hate to harp on it. It's not, not to you know, say that that's not a lot of money, but where do you get 480 horsepower, V8 engine, dual throttle bodies in a convertible? I mean, look at this. I mean, come on with that. I got the Brembo brakes, so this thing stops on a dime. But look, I think it's I think it's fantastic. Just absolutely fun to drive. Um, the steering wheel feel. I don't know if you can hear me. I'll put the windows up. Maybe that's a little bit better. But the steering feel and the how the, the, the steering wheel actually. It makes you feel while you're driving it. I mean, everything's right here. The dash, the gauges are crystal clear. Again, I have it in track, so the tack is sitting there right in front of you in the gear you're in. Um, so that's nice. Got the tire pressure on the screen. I got the air conditioning and the cooling seats running. So, uh, hey, how can you go wrong? Running around the windy roads of Wisconsin here. Not my favorite stretch of road in a V8, just getting on it. Man, that's a lot of fun. Look, I I have a, I've had a 350, nothing like running through the Tremec gears, um, 527 horsepower, I think. I have a GT500 now. So look, from a horsepower standpoint, I mean, nothing you can compare to the 760 horsepower supercharged 5.2 liter. But man, Come on, Ford, like this is fantastic. Keep on doing it. Giving us the V8s. Can't go wrong with that. I'll tell you, these seats, um, although they're not the Recaros, I, you know, look, they serve the purpose. It's 90 degrees here today, and I got the cooling seats on the air conditioner. Right, so I, 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 I can't complain. Like, um, have it in, in manual. It's uh, like a little bit more noise, I think, out of the out of the exhaust. I think that would be um, that would be nice. Uh, but again, I, again, look, I think if you want the performance pack one or two, I believe there are. Uh, you go go for that. This is a bit more of a dailyable, manageable. Got the horsepower, convertible, tool around town and have some fun in. Whether you're in the beach or just going and getting groceries you can't go wrong um, we are we do have a dark horse coming that will have the the uh, six-speed tremec i'm really looking forward to getting that on you know up and reviewing that and getting that out on the road i think that's going to be you know a bit different from a handling standpoint and power sound 
But what can I say? I mean, this is, this is again, I really like this. It's, it really is fun to drive. And I don't mind putting the miles on it so we can get this thing on the dyno. Let's see where that goes. I mean, the turn in, I'll tell you, it's tight, there's no rattle, there's no, you know, car goes where you want it to go and where you point it. It felt in comfort, definitely the steering felt a bit lighter, but you know, now that I've switched it to sport, I really, really am enjoying that. Hey, thanks for joining us here today. Uh, really appreciate the time spending the time with us here to present the 2024 Mustang Convertible GT uh, S650 body. It's one of the first here in Wisconsin. Look for some more videos on this, maybe even a dyno video, um, and you figure out what you think the horsepower is gonna be at the wheels. But again, I think Ford did a fantastic job with this, both the front end and the rear end especially. And again, it is a refresh. It's not a complete redesign, but man, Ford continues to deliver a naturally aspirated V8 engine in available in a six speed or an automatic. Come on Ford, thank you. Um, keep on doing what you're doing. We really appreciate it here in the car community and we have Middleton Motorsports and Middleton Ford appreciate it as well. Please like and subscribe to our channel, um, our website at www.middletonmotorsports.com, our YouTube channel um, and, and also our Instagram. Thanks everybody.